Hi, it's Katrina. From decades-long winters to sideways rain showers of glass shards, you'll probably think twice before complaining about Earth weather after watching this video. Here are 8 weird facts about weather on other planets. Number 8. Mercury's Temperature Swings As the only planet in our solar system without any tilt, Mercury technically lacks seasons. But don't let this fool you. The planet's conditions are not consistent throughout its 88-day year. Due to its highly elliptical orbit, Mercury does in fact experience dramatic temperature changes and its own versions of summer and winter. But these changes are nothing like the seasons that we're used to here on Earth. When Mercury is closest to the Sun, its temperature reaches a sizzling 427 degrees Celsius during the daytime. On the other hand, when the planet is farthest away from the Sun, nearly twice the distance as when it's closest, the temperature plunges to minus 173 degrees Celsius. Brr! Mercury's climate is not only affected by its distance from the Sun. The planet almost completely lacks an atmosphere, and this also has a significant impact on its climate. The temperature fluctuations that occur on Mercury are due partially to its barely existent atmosphere's inability to retain heat. Number 7. Venus's Snow Did you know that it snows on Venus? Well, sort of. The planet's version of snow is a shimmery dust made of heavy metals and minerals. During the month of July, Venus peaks at a temperature of around 482 degrees Celsius, and the atmosphere is bone dry. Pyrite materials are vaporized by the molten hot temperature of Venus's lowlands, creating a mineral mist of lead sulfide and bismuth sulfide that travels throughout the atmosphere. The Venusian mountaintops are then covered in the shimmery metallic substance. Meanwhile, dark volcanic rocks, such as basalt, are left behind in the planet's lowlands. As of mid-2013, scientists had never witnessed one of these snowfalls occurring, according to Discovery News, but they had observed the presence of the shiny material on Venus's mountaintops. Space snow exists in various other forms as well. On Mars, it's made out of carbon dioxide. Number 6. Saturn's Icy Moon Enceladus is one of Saturn's moons. It's also one of the brightest moons in our solar system because it's covered in freshwater ice, which reflects sunlight. Scientists are still learning about Enceladus and about Saturn. Astronomer William Herschel discovered the glowing moon, which measures 500 kilometers in diameter in 1789. However, until the two Voyager missions flew past it during the 1980s, relatively little was known about it. NASA's Cassini mission, which spent 13 years exploring Saturn and completed its mission finale in 2017, yielded more valuable information. Located at the south pole of Enceladus are cryovolcanoes, which are volcanoes that emit radioactive plumes of water, dust, and ice. The matter spews forth from the cryovolcanoes at 1,400 miles per hour, and much of it returns to the surface as a slow-motion snowfall, contributing to the moon's blindingly white color. The rest of the matter feeds one of Saturn's rings, known as its E-ring. The volcanic activity suggests that Enceladus has a warm core and is geologically active, and in 2015, Cassini actually passed through an ejecting plume. There is also a substantially large body of water on Enceladus contained within a subsurface ocean. The water may be warmer underneath the thick layer of ice that covers the surface, and this has made it a choice location among the scientific community for searching for extraterrestrial life. Cryovolcanism similar to that which occurs on Enceladus has been observed in several other parts of our solar system. In 2016, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope detected water plumes erupting on Europa, one of Jupiter's 79 known moons, and the sixth largest moon in the solar system. Evidence of cryovolcanoes was also found on Saturn's largest moon, Titan, during the Cassini-Huygens mission in 2004. Number 5. Apocalyptic Glass Storms Unlike the other places on this list, it's highly unlikely that scientists will ever send a spacecraft to this planet to collect data on its weather phenomena. The planet, simply titled HD 189733b, is located 63 light-years away from Earth, and it would take a spacecraft centuries to get there. At first glance, an unsuspecting observer would probably note its pretty blue hue and think of it as a pleasant-looking place. But the conditions on this seemingly pleasant extrasolar planet, which is known as a hot Jupiter due to its shockingly close orbital proximity to its parent star, is nothing short of a true nightmare. For us humans, of course. 
Last but not least, it likely rains shards of hardened silicate particles, in other words, glass, and they probably fall sideways due to the hot winds. Number 4. Bipolar Weather on Mars With no thermal blanket and an atmosphere 100 times thinner than that of Earth, Mars hosts one of the most inhospitable climates in our solar system. These conditions render the planet incapable of retaining heat energy, resulting in shockingly cold weather and drastic fluctuations in temperatures between night and day, as well as from one season to the next. The average temperature on Mars is minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. During winter, the polar temperatures plummet to minus 195 degrees. Temperatures during the summer peak at a comfortable 70 degrees during the day near the equator and plunge to minus 100 at night. In 2017, scientists were surprised to observe warmer than expected temperatures on Mars. During the afternoon, NASA's Mars Curiosity rover measured temperatures of up to 43 degrees, and for several days, the weather remained above freezing. As the planet's temperature rises every morning, frost that formed on its surface rocks overnight turns to vapor and raises the humidity level to 100%. Once the frost finishes evaporating, the humidity goes back down. In a statement to Space.com, John Rummel of East Carolina University explained that these highly humid conditions are equivalent to the drier parts of the Atacama Desert in Chile. This has prompted experts to wonder if Mars would become habitable if the humidity were more consistently high, or if the planet had hosted life in the past. As if the climate and weather on Mars weren't crazy enough, the planet's conditions are thought to be very dynamic over time and to undergo vast changes. According to Michael Meyer, lead scientist for NASA's Mars Exploration Program, at the same time human life was just beginning on Earth, Mars was warm and wet, with an average global temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. In an interview with Space.com, planetary scientist Isaac Smith, who studied the planet's shrinking ice caps, pointed out that Mars bears telling evidence of climate change having occurred in the past. Number 3. Io's Misplaced Volcanoes Hundreds of active volcanoes dot the landscape of Io, one of Jupiter's many moons, making it the most volcanically active place in the solar system. Some of the lava fountains from these highly active volcanoes shoot up to 250 miles into the sky. While investigating the conditions on Io, NASA and European Space Agency researchers made a puzzling discovery. Based on predictive models of how the moon's interior is heated, they expected to find Io's volcanoes at specific locations on the moon. However, upon closer examination, they realized that the volcanoes are significantly removed from where the scientists thought that they would be. But why? Between Jupiter's heavy gravitational pull and the gravity of neighboring moons Europa and Ganymede, Io is caught in a tug-of-war of sorts. For every orbit completed by Europa, Io completes two orbits, and every time Ganymede completes an orbit, Io completes four. These patterns distort Io's orbital path into an oval shape and cause the moon to flex as it circles around Jupiter. In other words, Jupiter's strong pull literally deforms Io as it gets closer to the planet, and as Io moves away, it relaxes. This gravitational flexing creates tension in Io's interior, and this friction generates the heat necessary for the moon's extreme volcanic activity. The experts may have solved part of the puzzle, but they're still trying to figure out how Io's interior is affected by this tidal heating. While one view holds that it causes the moon's deep interior to heat up, another proposed theory is that the heat does not penetrate past a shallow layer underneath the crust known as the asthenosphere. Number 2. 21-Year Seasons on Uranus Uranus holds the distinction of being the coldest planet in the solar system, with temperatures dropping as low as minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also unique because its spin axis is tilted by 98 degrees meaning it spins entirely on its side. As a result, the planet's poles do not align with its magnetic field. Scientists believe that Uranus was knocked over as a result of a collision or a series of collisions. In 2011, a study led by Alessandro Morbidelli of the Côte d'Azur Observatory in Nice, France, shed new light on why the planet looks like someone came along and kicked it over. The study determined that Uranus has suffered at least two major blows that knocked it out of its original place. These findings challenge the traditionally held theory that giant planets, including Uranus, Neptune, and the cores of Saturn and Jupiter, formed without any large-scale collisions. Regardless of what caused Uranus to tip over, which researchers are still working to determine, its unusual tilt has a dramatic impact on its seasons. 
On Uranus, summer and winter each last for 21 years. During these seasons, the planet's poles are pointed mostly toward or away from the Sun. This means that for 21 years at a time, the winter side of Uranus is dark, and the summer side receives constant sunlight. Spring and fall are a lot different than winter and summer on Uranus. Sunlight hits the equatorial region during both seasons, and most parts of the planet experience day and night. A day lasts just 17 hours, as opposed to more than two decades. In 1986, the NASA spacecraft Voyager 2 flew past Uranus during its northern hemisphere summer for a closer look at the planet. The photos it captured depicted the planet as an uneventful and featureless place. Since then, scientists have acquired better viewing technology and have been able to witness seasonal changes on Uranus, and they've learned that there's a lot more going on than they originally may have thought. In 2007, as fall began on Uranus and parts of the planet saw sunlight for the first time in 21 years, the newfound light and warmth triggered enormous storms. Some of the storms, which looked like bright spots in the atmosphere, grew to be the size of North America as they raged on in minus 300 degree Fahrenheit weather. Number 1. Green Rain In 2011, NASA announced that a bizarre green rain shower had been observed over a burgeoning star called HOPS 68, some 1,350 light years away, using their Spitzer Space Telescope. The crystal droplets were a mineral called olivine, which is often used here on Earth to make jewelry, and it was the first time they were observed in the collapsing clouds of dust that surround forming stars. Tom McGeeth of the University of Toledo in Ohio, who led the research on the phenomenon, stated that to create olivine crystals, temperatures as hot as lava are required. His summary of what probably happened reads as follows. We propose that the crystals were cooked up near the surface of the forming star, then carried up into the surrounding cloud where temperatures are much colder, and ultimately fell down again like glitter. Space is awesome! Thanks for watching! What crazy weather did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!